Hi folks, thank you for checking out my video. Today I'm going to show you how I will convert my no longer functioning bubble gas grill into a charcoal grill. And afterward, I'm going to do some grilling on this new converted grill to show the result of the conversion. What I have in front of you is a Weber. It is a Spirit Siri. I got it about 10 years ago. This is a really good Weber. This is the best grill uh, that I have. All the other grills that I bought, they last about a couple of years. But this grill has been around for almost 10 years and I love it. So the reason I'm converting this grill into a charcoal grill is because the burners are no longer working. So instead of throwing this away or replace the parts that are no longer functioning, I'm just going to convert it into a charcoal grill. And if it doesn't turn out the way I want it, I can always replace the parts and make it whole again. This gas grill is a perfect candidate for the conversion because Weber has beautifully designed these things here. One of the things that it has is this tray here. You can remove this tray to clean all the residues, all the oil, all the stuff that the food produced while you're grilling it, right? But if you're going to convert it into a charcoal grill, all the ashes will be captured here as well. So it's a really, really perfect candidate for this situation. Here's where the uh, reservoir, where all the juice, all the junk, will flow from, from this tray. You see how it was designed? Right, it goes down, designed to create the flow of liquid, and eventually go down into the reservoir there. So this is a really perfect candidate. It has three burners, as you can see. And then it also has a stove as well. It has been a good grill for all these years for me. I think it's gonna be a good charcoal grill as well. The first step of the conversion is removing the grate here. Just remove. Here are the protective covering of the burners. I'm just going to pick them up, use my hand, a little bit dirty. Just pick them up like that. Here is a closer look at the burners. As you can see, they are pretty much burnt out. So they're no longer functioning. Here, for example, is the igniter. It is no longer working as well. Uh, at the bottom here, as I, you saw earlier, is the tray. One thing that I want to point out here is that the reason why this grill is a perfect candidate for the conversion is look at the depth from here to here. That's pretty deep. My other grills, they're pretty short, so conversion might not be good, but this, if you place your uh, charcoal rack here, right, you still have a lot of space, a lot of space for the heat to come up, it's, so you won't burn your food uh, on charcoal. After you remove the grates, the next steps would be to remove the burners. In order to do that, you have to take the plate off here so you can access what's underneath there in order to get the burners out. So for this particular grill, uh, taking the top plates out is pretty simple. On the back here, you see a screw. All you need to do is unscrew that part. In the front part, there are two screws at the bottom. This one right here and there's another one right there. So you would unscrew the two screws and the one in the back and simply lift this thing up and it will come off. Once you unscrew the three screws, lift from the bottom, there's a little latch down there, and then bring it up. See how it comes off? So what you need to do here is to take off the uh, igniter first. But there's a battery in there, right? And whenever your igniter doesn't work, you have to replace the battery. So you can do that, you take this out. There's a little latch here, but you want to make sure you hold you know, the igniter circuit at the bottom while you push down the latch. So you want to squeeze it or push it in, so you can pull this down. Now this is removable, you can just take it out. But you want to hold on to this guy here, right? Just place it down here, because if you don't, it's going to fall off. So now you have this whole open area to work with. 
So these are three burners here. They all hooked up to the gas line. There's a latch here. So you need to lift this up of this metal part here, of this frame here, so that you can then release the connection here. You will also have to unhook this, the nuts up underneath here, holding this whole frame in place and connect it to the grill. Comes off. I'm just going to use my hand to take it out. See it? So this one comes off pretty easy. Right, another one. So once the nuts are off, you have to unscrew the other pipeline here. See what I'm doing? The pipeline to the stove. Right? Look. So it comes off. Now, bring this out like this and take it out. So now you got this pipe to work with. Now you can, can pull it, but before you pull it, you have to unscrew the two screws in the grill. Remove here. Right? So now it's off. But what you can do is you can remove this from this line like that. See it? You just pull it apart because now it's flexible. And then this one as well. Kind of wiggle it. Sometimes it's tough. Okay, so earlier I tried to pull this out, but it, it got stuck. And that's because of this screw here. So you want to unscrew these here. It comes off pretty easily. Like so. So now it's removable. You can pull it out. Like so, right? Oh. So this is the same process. If I decided to just simply replace the burners, uh, that's how you would have to remove the burners and reinstall the new burners anyway. All right, so the next step to complete the conversion is you need a rack uh, for your charcoal. I found this and it matches perfectly. So all you need to do is just put it in the grill like so. So this is where you're going to place your charcoal. Another cool thing about this, as you can see, there's an air gap between the tray and the charcoal rack. The hole in the tray will allow airflow to circulate to keep the charcoals burning. Now that we fitted the um, charcoal rack in the grill, all we need to do now is put this gas line frame back. We're going to hook the gas pipe to the stove. We're not going to use gas, but we just want to make sure things don't fall apart. But remember the two nuts to tighten the uh, connection here. Like so. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Once you have the frame in place, then you simply pull this thing back, like so. Boom. Nice. Don't forget to put the igniter back in place. So this is now in place. Now you have a chocolate grill. Okay. A nice, beautiful Weber chocolate grill with lots of space to cook. All right, so I can't wait to, to grill on this thing. There we go. Oh man, that looks nice. See that? You got plenty of space to put your charcoal in here. And then enough room for you to control the heat, the temperature. So this cooking area is big enough for me to cook maybe half. And in terms of like adding more charcoal, you know, I could just use this area and then I could control the charcoal movement here. So I'm excited. We're going to have some uh, short ribs today and I'm going to get ready to do the short ribs. So now that we have the charcoal, we're going to put the charcoal in there like so. OK. 
kind of spread it around. Here we go. We got to grill some of these here. These are short ribs. Oh, there's a lot of heat. I can feel a lot of heat from here. Look at that. You can clearly see the charcoal in there and the depth of the charcoal is just the right amount of distance. Let's flip these guys over. Look at that. And it smells so great. You don't smell the gas, but you have that chocolate flavor on top of it, on top of the marinated ingredients that I put together here. That is amazing. Oh man, this is way better than I expected. Look at that. Ooh, you can see the, uh, the grill line here. The best thing about this now is when the charcoal turned into ashes, like I mentioned before, you have this thing here, the tray that will catch all the ashes. So let me open up just to give you a little look. See that? So it's capturing it and you can take it out and pour it so it doesn't stay there forever. This is amazing. I think I'm gonna keep it like this for a while. If I needed to convert it back to gas grill, I could easily just get some new burners and put it back together, no problem at all. So as you can see, the conversion turns out great. I'm really happy with the result. I now have a new charcoal grill. So if you have an old gas grill, don't throw it away just yet because you might be able to convert it into a charcoal grill, just like I did. With that, I want to say thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you again soon.